again everyone and welcome back. Hopefully this video finds you well. Today we are going to look at another offering from Peak Refuel. This is their coconut or chicken coconut curry. Now these hover generally around $12.99 a pack. I got this and another one not too long ago directly from their site but you can find them on Amazon as well. Now, I know a lot of people have, you know, complained about the price of these at times, but I do have to say most of them that I've tried are reasonably good. And $12.99 is actually, it's about average for a lot of things at this current time in, well, 2021. So again, uh, chicken, coconut curry, uh, white chicken, rice and vegetables with a coconut curry sauce. The picture looks good, but obviously that's just a picture. Now one thing that I, when I get something that is probably going to have rice in it or might be the feature or, or you know like a major addition, I get a little nervous because sometimes you can over rice these things like crazy and, and you know not have enough of like the, the protein but it does claim to have 44 grams of protein per pouch so that sounds pretty good. Here are the nutritional facts. For a full pouch, it's 850 calories, so lots of calories there. Obviously, that does come with uh, other deleterious uh, sort of things, but you know, you, you just you take them as you go and make sure you drink lots of water. Ingredients list for those of you that are interested in that. Uh, uh, coconut curry sauce, so coconut milk, carrots, onions, spinach, red curry paste, garlic, lemongrass, that's interesting. Salt, shallots, coriander root, kaffir lime. Interesting, kaffir lime peel. Okay, so this might be pretty citrusy. We also have, you know, just lime juice as a listed ingredient there. Might be a little sweet too, brown sugar, interesting. Decent amount of spices. So yeah, I don't know, it, I'm hoping. I'm hoping for good things here. Little peak message there. And then uh, preparation ingredients. Now you guys know how I do this, or you should by now, so don't, uh, don't at me, bro. Um, but they are looking for uh, one and a third cup or 10.5 ounces of boiling water. Uh, I always forget, I don't know, if, I don't remember if these have fill lines, I don't think they do, but um, stir and let stand for 10 minutes, and then open pouch. And you can eat these directly out of the pouch. This is a nice sturdy pouch as well which I appreciate. And it has a zip, nice zip top there. Big, big old uh, desiccant. Oh, look at that. There's some nice sized bits of carrot. Oh, that, this is looking good. There's a lot of rice in there, but it does look like we have a suitable amount of chunks. Ooh, that smells really nice. It smells like, it definitely smells of carrot. So for those of you new here, uh, I would say definitely add the stated amount of water on the package. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a while, so I just kind of tend to add what I feel like doing. And again, some people get mad about that, but to be honest, I don't really care. No offense. Uh, but if you just go off of my method, what I like to do is add enough water to the meal to where it basically looks like the consistency that I would like it at, and then just add a little bit more water past that. Because, especially with rice and pastas, or you know anything with big chunks in it or whatever, you are going to have to contend with all of that water being seeped out. You know, we are rehydrating this meal after all. And I'll tell you what, right here, the consistency that I have it is about what I'd like to eat it at. It's not very saucy, it's all pretty tight, so what I can infer from experience and from just general, you know, freeze-dried freeze, freeze dried science <laughs> is that this is going to tighten up significantly more, leaving us with very little sauce. So I'm going to add a little bit more water just to this point, just to water it down just slightly, and then I'm going to let it set. And, you know, we let these set for around 10 minutes, but I'm going to, you know, maybe check it like five or six. And if I think I need to add more water, then there we go. Uh, other little tidbits, just make sure you scrape down the sides pretty effectively. Sometimes you'll get a big old, big old bite of powder, you know, some sort of seasoning or whatever that wasn't mixed. 
I'll tell you, this is going to get pretty thick, so I more than likely will need to add more water, but I think just for the, the sake of right now, the here and now, we're gonna be pretty good. So I'm gonna seal that up, let it sit, about six minute mark, I'll probably come through and add some more water, but let's go ahead and let this sit and uh, we'll come on back and try it out. All right, so I think we've let this sit long enough. I did add just a little bit of water, but you can see it's still pretty pretty tight in there. So I think, uh, I don't know, I think this will be okay. Whoa, big portion. Big portion, wow, look at that. That is a very nice size portion. Of course, putting in mind or keeping in mind that this is supposed to be a two two portion bag. So yeah, that's a lot. Well, let's dive in, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, we'll get a little little carrot there, a little chicken. Got some stringies there. There we go. Let's try it out. Oh wow. Yeah. Um dang. Okay. That's really good. Let's get in here for some more. Yeah, that's that's nice. Mmm. It's creamy. The rice is just right. There's a there's there, there's a good amount of chicken in here too. It's not all rice. Mm. You definitely do get the coconut. Coriander for sure. And then there's a, there is a sweetness, but it's not like overly sweet. I think we read on the ingredients list brown sugar. So definitely brown sugar, but there is a natural sweetness from those carrots coming through there. A little bit of an onion flavor as well. And you do get a little bit of that lime. Not a ton. Not a ton. But just enough there as you roll it around. This is an excellent meal. Wow. I am so blown away. Um, I'm so blown away. There's nothing I would add to that. That is darn near perfect. So good. It tastes fresh. You know, there's some... It, Carrot is really, really good in there. Um, not spicy, by the way. Uh, and you know what? I don't know if I'd want it spicy. You could put some spiciness in there and it'd be good, but it doesn't need it. And like despite just having a pretty large amount of rice, I think this would be great on trail on, you know, just any day really. Because going down, it doesn't really feel super heavy. Of course, once you get all that rice in your belly, you, you might start to feel a little heavy. But, man. It's been a little while since I've just had like a main that I've just been really excited about. But I do have to say, that this company, that Peak, Peak Refuel has really been hitting it out of the park lately. I mean, they've just been putting out some really excellent menus with just fantastic taste. And that's half the battle, really, is, is getting that taste. I remember you know, a long time ago doing some of the, Alp, uh, the Alpine Air ones. Um, sometimes they would try and overcompensate with flavor and it just wasn't all that good. They really hit the right balance in this. It's just, it's just really good, really good stuff. Simple ingredients list too, gotta love that. And again, what was this, 890 calories, almost 900 calories for a full, uh, full pack here. That is fantastic. That, it, it, 900, not, basically almost, I mean, depending on your, your daily uh, calorie intake, which you know, if you're not crazy active, is generally recommended to be like 2,000, right? I mean, that's what pretty much everything is based off is a 2,000 uh, 2, calorie per day diet. Whereas when you're active, yeah, maybe you might want a little more, but like this is, for most people, is 
could be half or a, or a third of their daily caloric intake. And that's saying quite a lot because like most ration mains that we, we look at are not this big. <laughs> you know, they, they're not that calorie packed. So I love it. This has been, this has been really good. <clears throat> so big thumbs up from me. Good recommend here if you want to try something new. Peak Refuel Chicken Coconut Curry, that's a winner. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and how many of you have tried this? If you've tried this menu, in the comments below, just let me know what you thought of it. I'd love to hear from you. And then drop any suggestions for future videos down there in the comments as well. If you would like to send something to the channel to be reviewed, the PO box is in the description, as well as the Patreon link if you just like to support the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.